and the allergic response that occurs in the, in the nose to the pollen that sits there, what's going on, what's happening, what's it producing that makes us have symptoms? So early symptoms, you're gonna notice that you'll have sneezing, you're gonna have itching, runny nose, um, and then you'll also get congestion later. Now, I sneeze every day. Is there a certain type of sneezing that somebody has in the spring? Is it fits of sneezing, paroxysms, or you just sneeze here, sneeze there? It could really be either, but a lot of times if you have sneezing that just is really chronic and, and almost habitual, then it could be attributable to allergies. Uh, usually is attributable to allergies? It depends. It, it could depend because there are also respiratory viruses that can cause sneezing and sometimes it's just hard to know early on which it is. So if you've got a runny nose, is it usually clear or is it discolored runny nose? If it's just allergic rhinitis, we would expect it to be clear drainage, just clear, drippy drainage. So sneezing, does the nose itch? The nose should itch. What's an allergic salute? Uh, we call an allergic salute this right here, where you, you wipe your nose upwards. And frequently, when you know that people are allergic, they'll get a little line across the bridge of the nose called a horizontal crease, and that's from the allergic salute. So when you push your nose up, it's got a little crease in the middle, and that will eventually, so is that sort of a, Telltale sign. It is, or it's at least one that we would really suspect that you may have allergies. Allergic shiners, what does that mean? Allergic shiners are what we see under the eyes, the dark circles under the eyes that result from chronic nasal congestion. Uh, and you may even have some little lines right here below the eyelid called Denny's lines. So we've got puffy eyes, we've got dark circles under the eyes, we've got itchy nose, we've got a horizontal crease, we've got an allergic salute. How about the roof of the mouth? Does it cause any symptoms at all? Allergic nose? You can get some symptoms along the roof of the mouth. You can get um, changes in the dentition, especially in children from tongue thrusting uh, that goes along. You can, they might get an overbite. And so the dentist fixes the overbite, but if the allergy is not fixed, it comes right back. That's a right. key thing. Are the ears involved with allergies? Yes, they can be. We see a lot of times itching in the ears. Um, patients may also get pain in the ears from eustachian tube dysfunction, which is inflammation in the tube that connects the back of the nose to the ear. Uh, and allergies cause that little tube to get inflamed. That creates some pressure problems and pain in the ear. So how common are allergies? Are they more common at a certain age or boys or girls or at age three, four, or five or later on? When do spring allergies start and occur? Well, we really start to see them a lot of times in childhood. Now we also see adults coming in with symptoms as well, but uh, kids frequently will start out with a little eczema when they're babies. And then by the time they're three, four or five, they start to have symptoms in the nose and it just marches along. We call it the allergic march uh, where their symptoms are, are kind of stepwise. It can be nose, it can be skin, can it be? A it can be asthma. It can as be well. asthma too. 